Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and training camp has begun for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We are currently two full days into the training camp experience for the Buccaneers in 2023, and there are a few things that I wanted to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about regards the battle going on between Baker Mayfield and Kyle Trask. That is obviously going to be the biggest story for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers throughout the entirety of of this summer and is going to be something that we are going to be continually talking about here on the channel and some interesting notes here especially from Todd Bowles right when asked about the idea of when he will announce a starting quarterback he essentially confirmed that it would be in the preseason of course he said that he wouldn't name a starting quarterback during the regular season uh duh right but definitely during the preseason that is when a quarterback starting quarterback, I guess I should say, is going to be announced for the Bucks. And while obviously that is expected, it still is nice to get that confirmation because you do have situations where guys wait and wait and wait to announce their starting quarterbacks whenever typically a few weeks, or I guess I should say a couple of weeks into preseason, a few weeks into training camp and whatnot, you basically know who your starting quarterback is going to be by that point. So, you know, hopefully the Tampa Bay Buccaneers don't sit on this. Hopefully they do not wait until the very last moment to officially name a starting quarterback and all those things. Hopefully they're able to just really get it out of the way early and set a lot of expectations as to who that guy is going to be, not just internally for the team as well, but also for the fan base and for media and for everybody else talking about that situation also. But... In terms of how the quarterbacks have been doing so far, overall, I think it's been pretty uh, neck and neck so far, if you want to use that word. Both guys have looked impressive in some ways, both Kyle Trask and Baker Mayfield, and definitely are still competing for this job, right? And it's definitely going to be a competition that is going to continue on for the next couple of weeks. Wow, there are a lot of people out there, and I, I do think understandably so, right, who are basically saying, look, it's Baker Mayfield's job to lose. Kyle Trask still certainly has a chance, right? If he definitely does make a very strong impression throughout preseason and training camp and whatnot, he could be this team's starting quarterback if he really is able to impress. Again, a former second-round pick by the Buccaneers, that's a big investment from the team. So they want to see what Kyle Trask can do, but... Again, a lot of people kind of feel like it's already a foregone conclusion that's going to be Baker Mayfield, but of course, we're just going to have to wait and see. A couple of other interesting things still going on. You still have a kicking competition going on between Rodrigo Blankenship and Chase McLaughlin. Pay attention to that, folks. Should be a lot of fun. Very interested to see how that kicking battle is going to shake out. You're moving on from Ryan Suckup, a guy who really has been consistent for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers the past couple of years, and now you're back into the unknown. You're back into open water, essentially, where you have no idea what the heck is going to happen. And I will say this. I saw Chase McLaughlin during OTAs. I thought he did a very good job. Didn't get a chance to see Rodrigo Blankenship because, you know, he was still injured, recovering from injury, just getting acclimated to things in general with the Bucs. Didn't get to see him. That's going to be interesting. How is Rodrigo Blankenship going to look as a kicker for this team? Let's pay attention to that. And finally, you know, it seems like the offense is starting to get rolling a little bit. Some, you know, game plan type stuff's getting implemented. Just guys are getting more comfortable in the offense as a whole. But one thing I'm still curious about in my mind is the idea of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at running back. Yes, you have Rashad White, and there has been so much praise for Rashad White. We've talked about it a ton here on the channel. That is great stuff. You love to see that you've also got a lot of interesting opportunities with Chase Edmonds. How is he going to do? He's certainly on a rebound year. Keyshawn Vaughn, former third round pick. How is he going to look in a pretty pivotal, uh, pivotal year? We've actually talked about that here on the channel, him potentially being a cut candidate, but Sean Tucker just got cleared for practice. That's huge. First time he's been able to practice with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a good long while now. Actually, since he's joined the team, this is the first time he's been able to practice. How is Sean Tucker going to look? I know that he is definitely a dark horse type of candidate to get meaningful you know, legitimate, consistent snaps for this team moving forward. First, he's got to make the roster, of course, but... 
could also fit a need for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They are in need of a power back. Could be something that they still add via free agency, but also could look to a guy like Sean Tucker as well to see how he is able to get the job done, being more of just a bruiser, more of a power type of back. So pay attention to that as well. There's a lot of interesting things there. Shaq Barrett's been looking good for uh, recovering from his Achilles injury and just all the other just really just, uh, you know, uh, just upsetting things that he's been going through. He's been able to come back, and, and now he's in practice. He looks like he's definitely more in shape and looking more and more ready to go as time has been going on. Same with Ryan Jensen. Ryan Jensen coming back from his injuries looks like he is getting more ready to go as well. So a lot of positive news coming out of the first couple of days of training camp here for the Bucks, We still have a long way to go. Preseason games are going to be coming up. That's going to be very exciting as well, so pay attention to that also. Should be a lot of fun, folks. But you know, what do you guys think about training camp so far? The start of it, what do you like? What do you not like? Also, the Bucks brought back Will Golston. That's a pretty cool thing. Uh, we talked about that a little bit here on the channel. Should be an interesting veteran presence for the Bucks. They'd gotten rid of Jeremy Banks. Kind of makes sense. You know, the Buccaneers are pretty, you know, depth filled at inside linebacker right now they needed a little bit of defensive line depth they got a starting caliber player in will golston so there's a lot of positive things going on right now for the bucks in terms of roster moves in terms of guys coming back healthy in terms of guys looking good in practice all in all it's all thumbs up for the bucks so far but folks again you know, let me know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are on training camp so far up to this point. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks. <clears throat>